The Canadian Card Collector here, and welcome back to day 330 of a daily deck review. And the deck that we're taking a look at today is the Bicycle Trojan Warrior Playing Cards. So, with no further ado, take a look and see what we get. Now, here we have the Bicycle Trojan Warrior Playing Cards in that standard glossy finish tuck box here. It is a brown base tuck box there with a little bit of like, kind of like a some little pattern like within that brown. Then we have the little uh, the metallic gold border going around the whole front of the tuck box there with a little gold, metallic gold little arch there. It says bicycle there in that off white little colorway. Then you got this Roman soldier helmet there right in the middle. And then Children War playing cards there. On one side, you've got that same little gold border there. It says air cushion finish, made in the USA. Other side says very nice is playing company. And with that same gold border on the bottom, you got the playing card decks.com little logo there. And that's where they're from, playing card decks. And these are from 2021, the United States Playing Card Company, made in the USA, and designed by this person here. I'm not going to pronounce it because I will not be able to say it right. So you can see that there. That's who that's designed by. And on the back, a little sneak peek of that back design. And then for the custom stamp style seal that we have, it is the brown stamp style seal with a little, that little Roman horse there, the little wooden Roman horse there in the middle with that tan background. And these are numbered out of 2,500 and I got number 1,879. And then on the top, got that same little metallic gold border and it says limited edition, poker size. And then, on the tuck flap, you've got some corporate information there. And then the inner tuck flaps have a little sneak peek of what the spade. They've got a little spade there on either side there in that black and gold. Now, if we take the cards out of the box, on the inside of the tuck box, it is just plain white. Nothing too crazy or fancy going on inside there. But now that we took a look at that tuck box, time to take a look at the cards. And first, we start with the back design. Over here, we have a mirrored back design with no standard white border this time. So it's a fully like inked back design. There. So with fully inked back designs, the edges could chip a little bit and start turning white. With the more use you have, the darker the color, the more you see it. But it can happen with any fully inked decks. Here, but the white border has that kind of like. Like earthy kind of tone to it, like a, I don't know, kind of reminds me of like dirt. I don't know if it's like dirt texture or something, but it has a little bit of a texture, so like lighter brown and like a dark brown kind of mixture there for that border. And then for the middle here, you got that same kind of little bicycle circle design style there, with a little circle there. Looks like a red and black star kind of shape there in the middle. Then you got the Roman soldiers there fighting on either side there. And with a little flower design around. And then a little bit more like some gold metallic ink there around them. With some orangey colors in the background there. So a nice fully custom back design there. And there's mirrors, so if you flip it over, same design in both directions. And now for the cards you get with the deck. Here we start with the first Joker. It says Joker Joker there in that custom font. And you've got that same gold border that goes around. And that goes around all the cards in the deck. There. And then for the image of the Joker, you've got that wooden little Trojan horse there. Right in the middle. Looks like the sky there in the background. And then you got another Joker here. That was the black colored Joker. And you got the red Joker here. With that custom font once again. With that gold metallic border. That's on every card, so I won't really mention that. And then you got that same kind of like earthy tone kind of back design. Or background for all the cards. And then you've got like, the Roman Empire castle or something there in, for the picture there with the sky in the background. There. And then you got the custom Ace of Spades here. When it's some kind of woman from the Roman, like the Trojan War era there. I'm not going to know who it is, but you got, but it is a full custom Ace there with that kind of lighter tan background. And you got the custom font for the aces 
Hold the spades there, where they have that kind of gold trim on it. There, and that design goes throughout the rest of the spades. Well, I guess they don't have a gold for like, the pips there in the middle, but they got the tan background with the custom spade pip there. But the corner ones have the gold, little gold like, outline there on it. But the ones in the middle do not. But they're still for custom there. And then the Jack, Queen, and King of Spades are fully custom there. So you got two different Roman soldiers for the Jack and the King. And you got a woman there for the Queen there. You got the King is more fully heavily, heavily armored. And the, jack, and the Jack has less armor on. There. Then you got the custom Ace of Spades here. No, the Ace of Diamonds there in the red colorway. Then you got an archery guy there. There. And then the rest of the diamonds here. Or that custom diamond design. And they also have that gold border for like the numbers and the little pip there in the corner. And that same tan background. So they pretty much have the same design, just the different style for the pips there. And each of the court cards are obviously going to be different characters. So you got three different characters once again. And there are in a darker outfits this time. There for the diamonds. You got the Jack and the King are the, the male characters and the Queen is that female character. And then you got the Jack, Queen, and King of Clubs there with the fully custom club pips there. And they're in more of a lighter kind of color. It's still like a dark for the King and the Jack. But the, the Queen is in a lighter color way. There. Then you got that full custom club pips for the clubs. And then you got the custom ace of clubs there. There's another female there with a spear, the shield, and a Roman soldier helmet on. And then lastly, the hearts, Jack, Queen, and King of Hearts. They got that custom heart pip. It almost reminds me of like a shark tube, the kind of style design. And then you got the king and the jack, which are the soldiers once again. Oh, we got with the one soldier and then an archer. And you got the female there for the queen. Holding a little flower there. And then the rest of the heart. So just that custom heart design. And lastly, the ace of hearts. There. Fully custom once again. Another female there. Holding an apple. And some doves around her. And the last two cards in the deck. Are. Oh, I guess you got some information cards. That would have been helpful. When we went through that. Because it tells you exactly who the, the what what the cards are. So it tells you what the hearts, jacks, clubs, and spades are for all the characters. And it tells you what the aces are as well. And on the back, it's just that back design. That's kind of nice that you get the little card to tell you who who's in the deck. Okay. But now that we took a look at the cards, time to test the handling. And sometimes, but not always, the uh, fully inked designs could make the cards a little bit thicker, but not always. So first we'll start with those springs. And this one is definitely a little bit thicker of a stock, not like overly thick. But they're definitely a little bit thicker. They still have a good flex to it though, like they flex pretty nicely for those springs. Still pretty smooth spring. They're nice and springy. Definitely slippery cards, so I gotta be careful of not dropping them. So I won't do too many springs. I don't want them to go flying everywhere. But they're pretty nice springs for what I can do. Now time for the fans. A nice colorful fan there. And the, there's all those different tones of browns. That back design. And same as the front. Got all those brown tones. With a little bit of that gold showing through. But as you can see, they spread pretty evenly. You can see some of the numbers and some of the pips. Because it's just the way the cards spread. You, but you can see the little edge of them. They're still spread pretty evenly there, and they're pretty smooth. 
we now apply for the pharaoh which is a decently smooth pharaoh, I definitely still have to slightly push shuffle them together to get them to interlock and wave but they interlock and wave pretty nicely now for a giant fan of that back design And now time for that reverse pharaoh. And the reverse pharaoh is definitely a lot more smoother there, but and then you're locking away flawlessly once again. Now for a giant fan of the faces. And now time for that wiggle shuffle. Or bridge shuffle. And you definitely have to break the cards in because when you first start shuffling these, they do not like, I mean, riffle shuffle them. They do not like shuffle really good at all. They're definitely clumpy when they're like brand new. But you just gotta probably break them in for them to start feeling a little bit more smoother. Because they're definitely a lot better after like a, like the fifth one. Definitely better than the first two or three. So they're definitely getting better over time. You're just gonna have to break them in. Some decks you don't have to break in because they already feel broken in. Straight out of the box, which is nice, but most decks are going to have to break in so they get more smoother over time. And now time for a few pack of cuts. Well, they say pretty decent packet cuts, nothing overly crazy. They weren't like too packety, but they weren't overly slippery. Definitely a little bit more slippery. But like, they're still pretty good. And now time for that one-handed cut, or a Charlier cut. Now time for the dribbles. So you definitely have all your grip with the face cards up. It's still pretty smooth either way, but when you have the back design up, it's just a little less grippy, so they just tend to slide out your hands a little bit easier. And now time for that spread fan. And lastly, spread the cards on the table. Well, I gotta say, playing card decks has left no detail out of this deck whatsoever. This is fully custom deck. As you can tell, with the fully inked back design and the fully inked faces there. Lots of use of that gold metallic ink there on both the fronts and the backs. There, you got that nice, like, brown contrast with the gold and with the lighter tan kind of colors there. With the shading of the black on there. It just makes for a nice, like, elegant, custom, like, 
fancy back design there. It looks pretty nice. And then you got the four custom faces there, which all have that kind of gold border going around it, with like that, like that dark brown kind of like textured background with the little tan faces there for like the pips there, like the tan like the background for like all the pips to sit on top of. Which looks pretty nice. And then you got the fully, all the fully custom court cards there, which are different like soldiers. And then you got different like for the, the queens, you got different like females there. And there is a card which we saw earlier that showed like this card. If I didn't just drop it. Well, we have this card here, which shows all the different like aces. Because all the aces are. Yeah, all the aces are fully custom there as well, with different characters on it. So that shows the aces there. There is one card in here, somewhere in the deck, that shows you all the different court cards. Yeah, this one here shows you all the all the different names of the court cards there with their picture, which is pretty neat. They didn't have to add that, but they did, so you could tell who the characters are. So. Well done for the design, fantastic design. And then for the handling, they handle pretty good. They are definitely on the more slippery side. But that's not like a bad thing. It's just, I mean, you have to grip it a little bit more. But that makes it for a pretty smooth deck. Like they fan and spread pretty good. And they shuffle pretty nicely. That's why I found no real issues with the handling at all. They're a little bit stiffer, just because of that fully inked design. But other than that, they're not like that bad for handling. Yeah. They handle pretty fantastic. So with that being said, they got a fantastic design and pretty fantastic handling as well. Not much to say. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed. This has been day two hundred and thirty. Uh, no. 330 of a daily deck review. This has been the Bicycle Trojan War playing cards from Playing Card Decks. And I'm the Canadian Card Collector signing out. That's the video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.